Winter comes after fall. Night comes after day. Difficulty follows opportunity. Recession always comes after expansion. It's been the rhythm of life for the last, last 6,000 years of recorded history. So the winters are going to come. The winter of sickness, the winter of disappointment, the winter of devastation, social winters, economic winters, personal winters when your heart is smashed in a thousand pieces and the nights are unusually long. It's simply called winter time. But the winters are inevitable. So it has been for the last six and a half thousand years recorded history. You say, well, Mr. Rohn, what can I do about the winters of life? That as you go through the challenges of life and you look at it and embrace whatever comes to you, don't run from it, step toward it. Don't try and duck it like most people do. See, most people want it easy. See, easy come, easy what? Easy go. Here's what's exciting about the passing of time. It takes you through whatever you're experiencing at the moment. That's what time will do, take you through the winter. Now, how do you handle the winters? Make this little note, you can get better and you can get stronger and you can get wiser. There's no winter that you can't overcome. There's no winter that you can't figure out how to survive. You must look out for your enemies. And believe me, we're gonna have some. There's gonna be political enemies. There's gonna be social enemies. There's going to be people that will be envious and they will not be your friends. How are you going to show power if you're not up under attack? How are you going to show resistance if something's not trying to pull you over? Resist, resist. Stop being neutral and stop being indifferent. Resist. Take a stand and resist. And each battle brings you to another level. I thank God for the stuff I had to fight. I don't know, I don't know that I've spent a day in my life thanking God for my car. I, I appreciate the car, but just be walking around the house thanking God, who thank you for the Mercedes, thank you for that, thank you for the Bentley, not a day, not a day, not a day. thank you for stuff, thank you for this house, thank you for this pool, thank you for that, no, 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 because all that stuff, when you get in trouble, you don't even notice it, it don't even make no difference, when you're really up under attack, and the enemy's coming after your children, and after your health, and after your mind, you don't care what you're driving, I might as well be driving a bus, it don't make no difference, but I thank him, for the stuff I had to fight. Take it for the folks who hated me and resisted me and talked about me and spat on me. I take it for the doors he closed. I take it for the mountains I had to climb. I take it for the opposition. I take it for the people who blocked me out because he taught me how to fight. You taught me how to fight. God's going to train you on this fight. He's going to strengthen you on this fight so that when you get into the next battle, you'll say, this ain't nothing. You should see all you at. Think you put something on me? You don't know who I am. You cannot stand over in the corner and remain indifferent and be effective. You have to choose a side and get in the fight because he's going to move you along through the things you fight. See, but when you go at what you're going to deal with and you deal with difficulties of it. When you handle those hard things close at hand, making those hard decisions right now that you don't want to make, learning those things that you don't like to do, but you know that in order for you to get where you want to go, this is one of the hoops that you have to flip through. And I'm saying to you, whatever you got to do, do it, because if you don't, life is going to whoop you until you surrender. So if it's hard, then do it hard. You got to fight. You got to fight. Stop crying and fight. Dry your eyes and fight. The devil is after your mind. You got to fight. If you sit up and let him, you're going to go crazy. You got to fight. You ain't got to have no nervous breakdown. Be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. It's necessary you take responsibility for it, that you make it happen, that you don't give up, that you don't take any objection or disappointment or defeats personally, that you keep on keeping on, that you don't decide that I can't make it because you can't see the light at the end of the tunnel, that you realize that's a part of the program. And here's something you've got to resolve. Say this to yourself every day. 
See, as long as you're breathing, you got a shot at your dream. That's the way I resolve. Say this, please. It's not over until I win. Not over till I get through. It's not over till I get over. Not over till I get what I want. Door can't open today, look out. I'm gonna come back and take the hinges off. You've got to have that kind of courage, that type of determination. If you want to make it happen, it's you. That you've got to take personal responsibility to make it happen. I'm asking you to stand at the door. I'm asking you, whatever threatens you, threaten it back. Whatever pushes against you, push it back. Whatever wants to overwhelm you like a father, stand up, take control, and do battle with your enemies, wherever you find them. Now here's one more. We must also deal with the enemies within ourselves. Some of the enemies are a lot closer than that. They are within. And I want to give you a list of some of the things to watch out for when you get back home called enemies within yourself. Here's the first one, indifference. Whatever you do, practice not being casual. You've got to shake off sometimes the lethargy. They would say, oh, well, maybe it's not going to work for me. Don't be casual. Casualness creates casualties. You've got to deal with it. Indecision is called the thief of opportunity. Make decisions even if it's a wrong decision. Do the very best you can, make a decision and go with it. If it doesn't work out because it was a wrong decision, I'm telling you, that gives you experience now to make a better decision. Here's the next one, doubt. We've all got to deal with the enemy of doubt. Cynicism has a unique way of crowding in on all of us. Being cynical about society, being cynical about the past, cynical about the future. I'm asking you, don't let that disease grab you by the throat and ruin your chances to do well. Yes, it's easy to doubt that it can happen. It's easy to doubt. We've all got fears that want to crowd in. And here's one of the worst ones of all, and that is to doubt yourself. Don't doubt your own ability. You can possibly find. So whatever your enemies are here, drive them into a small corner. Here's the next one. Over caution. Hey, in the spring, if you're too cautious, you never will plant the seed. If you're too cautious, you won't take the chance. If you're too cautious, you won't step out front. Make this Thank note. You, you got to take Check a out chance. Our other motivational videos Drive your that will help you turn tendency to be too cautious. Drive direction. it into a small corner. Yes, you can't be gullible. No, you can't go for everything. Yes, you've got to be careful. Yes, but don't be so cautious that it paralyzes you. Don't be so cautious that it restricts your chance to do better. See if you can't conquer that. Here's the next one, pessimism. Yes, there's the dark side. Yes, there's the problem side. Yes, there's the difficult side. But I'm telling you, it's not the only side. Yes, the glass is half empty, but it's also half full. Yes, there's the dark side, but there's the light side. Yes, the night comes, but so does the day. I'm telling you, don't be afraid of both sides, opportunity and difficulty, chance and danger. Learn how to handle it all. Now here's the last one. You've got to deal with it. I have to deal with it. We all have to deal with it. And that's complaining. Yes, there's room for a legitimate complaint. But here's what I'm asking you. Don't let complaining master your life. If you become a chronic complainer, I'm telling you, nobody wants to be around you. Chronic complainer. I wouldn't want you for a business partner. Don't let complaining conquer your life. This here is the reality. Do you mean that the competition is not the reality? Listen, the work is behind the scenes. Competition is the easy part. <laughs> Behind the scenes is where the work is done. If you want to find heaven, you must go through hell. If you want to find growth, you must first go through resistance. Go through pain. You have to go through hell to get the results. Go through hell to get to your heaven. Today, I wanted to just really hit on something. Successfully dealing with pain. 
think you hear you you, you hear many stories and 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 every story I just sat in the back room and listened to I'm watching these people triumph and, and figure out ways to keep going. But how do you keep going? Why do you keep going? In the world it says everything else is supposed to be opposite. Every time you come up to a challenge, you quit, you surrender, you give up, you give in. Every single thing I go through, I remember I was homeless and I draw from it. Every single time I'm going through pain, I remember that I've gone through pain since I was a kid. I draw from it. Recycle your pain. Get something from it. You already in pain. Use it. Do something with it. Allow it to take you to the next level. Allow your pain to push you to greatness. There's two sides of pain that I don't think a lot of people really understand, right? There's, there's one side of pain that's the suffering and the discomfort side of pain. But then there's another side of pain that's called effort. It's called glory. It's called if you can find a way to push through pain, there's something greater on the other side of it. And, 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 and if you never tap into it, it's because the first time you felt it, you backed off. First time you felt, ah, that burn. The first time you felt that, ah, it's too much. That's why a bunch of us give up so much in life so quickly. That's why kids have a problem finishing things in today's time. Because as soon as they feel a small bit of discomfort or things ain't right oh they gone I can't do it no more but suppose I told you the greatest pain of my life is the reason I'm standing here. see sometimes we think the pain is what controls us it's actually our subconscious mind that if we ever tapped into that that's what dictates most of our lives Because see, pain, pain is tricky. Because if you don't control pain, it'll control you. Think about what we do the moment we see it, right? It's back to the two sides of pain, the, the two sides of pain. See, at that point, I feel like a victim. I feel like, oh man, why me? You know, and when I feel, I remember laying on the ground. I said, Lou, ain't nobody out here to help you get up. What makes you get up when you fall down? What makes your mentality change if there's a great situation or there's a bad situation? How do you dictate that based on the level of pain? Because I think that's what we're getting in trouble with. So when I started cycling, when I started going to see these doctors, I realized that I turned my greatest pain into my greatest achievement. Well, sometimes your greatest pain, it ain't even about you. It's about a greater purpose. That if you can find a way to push, that if you can find a way to not make it about you. Pain is temporary. It may last for a minute, or an hour, or a day, or even a year. But eventually, it will subside, and something else will take its place. If I quit, however, it will last forever. For those of you that have experienced some hardships, don't give up on your dream. Talent you have naturally. Skill is only developed by hours and hours and hours of beating on your craft. Um, if you think that you're going to go and accomplish something really special, you'll be the best in anything in the world, and you think you can do it without working, you make a big mistake. Because no matter what I did, if it was in bodybuilding or in acting or if it was in, in, in the political arena, uh, it always took a lot, a lot of work. And you got to put out and you got to, you know, something like a lot of sacrifices and all this. If you're not willing to work hard, forget about it. I always questioned myself in the best of times, uh, even when I was world number one for many, many weeks and months in a row. At certain 
times during the year I said, what can I improve? What do I need to change? Because if you don't do anything or you just do the same thing over and over again, you stay the same. And staying the same means going backwards because the other guys are working hard and improving. So I always need to find ways to improve my game as well. All of my greatest teachers came through my greatest pain. My greatest growth came after my greatest pain in the gym and in life. Without pain, there is no next level. Without hell, there is no heaven. Go through the darkness to get to your light. Pain is my friend. Pain pushes me to greatness. I invite pain to attempt to defeat me, but defeat me it won't. Because my heart is greater than any pain. My heart is greater than any pain. My heart is stronger than any pain. My heart is greater than any pain. My heart is stronger than any pain. Pain changes people. Pain forces change. If you're tired of the pain, push through it. If you're sick of the pain, push harder. Push for longer. Push through the pain. Without pain, there is no next level. Without hell, there is no heaven. Go through the darkness to get to your light. Use the pain as fuel. Fuel that will take you wherever you need to go. Use the pain as motivation. Motivation to be better. Motivation to get stronger. Motivation to never be reduced by the pain ever again. The pain I feel today will be the strength I need tomorrow. I've never known a strong person with an easy pass. Strong people are strong because they've been through the pain. Because they kept going. They kept fighting. And they did not allow the pain to defeat them. That is mental strength. That is character. In life you get to choose. Will the pain stop you or will it grow you? I, I, I truly believe we are all equal as human beings. If, if we are obsessed with something and we truly pursue our passion with everything we have, regardless of any anything else, if you are obsessed, t uh, work hard, put in the time, you will succeed. And, and that is a philosophy that I carry, my coaches carry. And, and to see LeBron James, who's like a mega uh, superstar over here and a phenomenal, phenomenal athlete, share... Um, that belief is, is inspiring right back to me. It, it shows that we are thinking correct. You know, this is this is hard work. This is an obsession. Nothing can be hard work.